Hello everybody, I'm Tiffany Hopper and I'm coming from the Volunteer Corner Show. Our special guest today is USO Volunteer Manager. Now, if you have any questions or comments about volunteering in the USO, please leave them in the comment box at the bottom of the screen. everyone, this is Taffney Hopper, Army Volunteer Corps Manager. Uh, I am coming from our Volunteer Corner and we have a special guest, Lucy Ch Sanchez, the Volunteer Manager of Fort Bliss USO. Hello, thank Hi, you. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. So Great good. to have you on our first Volunteer Corner show. So tell me Lucy, what is USO? Well, the USO is a private nonprofit organization that was established in 1941 with the sole purpose to service the American troops. All right, wow. And our mission is to keep the family connected, the service members connected to family, home, and country. All right, I like that, I like that. So what are some volunteer opportunities that you have within the USO? Well, here on Fort Bliss, we have two state-of-the-art centers. Uh, one on main post and the other one on the East Bliss location. The volunteer can be a center representative. In addition to that, we have an airport lounge where volunteers can also come to our lounge and volunteer there. In addition to that, we have a food truck that goes out there in the, where the service members are training, McGregor, and we can have those special events. The volunteers can come and help us out, serving meals to these folks that are training. Okay. Uh, in the field. So soldiers, family members, and civilians can volunteer at the USO. That is correct. Okay. It is open to anyone that is willing to give us a hand. We'll be glad to welcome them here. So since you mentioned that, what is the process to get volunteers involved in USO? Well, that's a great question. Well, we have a website. It's volunteersuso.org. And what we ask is for people that are interested in volunteering, they can go to our website, register there, mm -hmm. and then that will come to my database and I will place the phone call and just have a small interview just to know exactly what they're looking for, where are their availability, if they can come in the mornings, afternoons, because we have opportunities at all times and even weekends. So you want to make sure they're a great fit for your organization. That is correct. Okay. Yes, exactly right. So you mentioned um, they go out and they do food trucks. What are some other special events that USO uh, hosts? Yes, well, we have our annual fundraising event, which is the Oryx Challenge. And it is normally we need volunteer support for that from registration all the way to uh, giving out, handing out the goodie bags. In addition to that, we have another wonderful event, which is called the Warrior Week. Uh, and we need volunteer support there. You know, we have, the events are not just on Fort Bliss, mm -hmm. but they're on the community. For instance, uh, one of the events that we have is at Weco Tanks. And they have, uh, together with the, with the, um, the, uh, the park, um, we have different events going on within the park and they close the park for just our event and we have we need volunteer support for that so you've mentioned a lot of athletic events do yes. you have to be athletic to be a part of those <laughs> events of course not tiffany i'm not even there <laughs> because i'm not athletic <laughs> <laughs> you look wonderful you don't need to do that uh, no definitely not because we have opportunities for all ages you know for folks that are really athletics that they want to participate in in activities like I fly because we also have part of the warrior week uh, we have uh, an I fly event you know where that volunteers can go in and participate um, but in addition to that um, the center you mm -hmm. know where we hand our snacks to the service members that come and visit the centers mm -hmm. and that doesn't require that much of physical activity. All right. <laughs> so I do have a question. Sure. So what about youth? Do you take youth that volunteer? That is a, a good question, Tiffany, because the way we, um, the USO is very aware 
and take care of the youth. Mm -hmm. So we normally ask our parents to volunteer with minors. Uh, and the reason is just to ensure that they are well taken care of while they're serving the community, the service members. Well, that's great. That's good to know that youth can volunteer being accompanied by their parents. Yes. And I, I believe that the USO is doing so many great things in our community. I know your Thank old you. motto used to be until everybody comes home. So mm -hmm. I, I really like that motto. I like the new mission as well. For those who are interested in volunteering, can you tell us again how they can contact you, Lucy? Yes, uh, they can. They have two ways. One, we ask those volunteers, those prospective volunteers, to register our website, volunteersuso.org. Mm -hmm. Or if they want to, they can call me. My name is Lucy Sanchez and my phone number is 915-226-7554. And I'd be glad to guide them through the process. Wow. So if you're interested in learning about volunteer opportunities, contact Lucy Ch Sanchez. And also, if you have any questions relating to volunteering at USO, leave them in the comment box. This is the end of our volunteer show. Change the world. Volunteer. Have a great day. Bye.